Hello everyone, want to add some snappiness to your video? Here are three ways that you can use fast jump cut sequences to add some fun to your vlog. And speaking of fast jump cuts, we have to look at Edgar Wright. Who is he? Here's a quick recap. He's a British director who's well known for his stylist filmmaking and using his editing for visual comedy. He's done some cult classics such as Shaun of the Dead, Hot First the Worlds, and he also directed Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which is as video game as you can get for a movie, and more recently, 2017 Baby Driver, which grossed over $175 million worldwide. And what is a jump cut? Basically, a jump cut is just a cut in your edit that jumps forward in time. It can be on a still camera like this, which is not what we're talking about today, and sometimes it gets a little hate professionally. But a jump cut doesn't need to stay still in one camera angle. Many vloggers actually do this already, especially for going from place to place. So now that you know who Edgar Wright is and we're on the same page as what a jump cut is, let's dive in to look at the three ways that you can start using them in your vlog. Number one, doing it on boring things. Traditionally, these fast cut montages are reserved for action. The reason they use it is because the fast cut adds energy to what we see. So it's typically found in action movies. But in Shaun of the Dead, Edgar Wright uses it for the opposite things, the mundane things in life, to poke fun at the action movies, like having breakfast. Or you're rushing home to make a reservation because there's no cell phone, I guess. Because you forgot that today is your anniversary with your girlfriend and you're supposed to make a booking. Did you do anything special? Uh, well, we were going out for a meal tonight, actually. Oh, anywhere nice. It's funny because Sean, before the apocalypse, was essentially drawing through the monotony of life. So the mundane things is actually all the action he's getting. So think about all the boring stuff that you do every day. I don't know, shine a light on it. Do it the right way. Number two, emphasize a point. Maybe you're like me and you don't tie your shoelace particularly well. I still totally do the money ear thing. And to show that, maybe you're in a rush and you shoot yourself a fast cutting sequence of getting ready only to be slowed down by your poor shoelacing skills. Or maybe you're at a bar and you're freaking out because one of your four buddies is not having beer with you and instead he's having water. What? I don't believe this. And consider the story that you're telling, and... Hey babe, you want instant noodle? Honey, I'm recording, and are you sure it's so bad? <laughs> Spamming Korean noodles. So consider the story that you're telling. Would the punchline be that much funnier if you did it this way? Give it a try. Number three, scene transitions. Whenever you have a sequence that's getting a little boring, maybe you feel like you're losing your audience, consider using a fast cut sequence to transition yourself to the next thing. It's perfect for moving on from a dry joke. Here's an example from Hot Fuzz. This time, Simon Pegg plays a hard-nosed cop who's new in town, and the newspaper just did an article on him, so everyone's recognizing him and he's getting his, you know, five minute of fame. <laughs> oh, can I have your autograph, please? <laughs> For the breakfast. It also works really well when you want to show a sudden change of plan. So consider using these fast cut sequences to transition yourself quickly out of a scene. But just like with anything, don't overdo it. Alright, so I got one more bonus tip for you. Of course. But before that, click the like button if you learned something and which of the three would you most likely try? Tell me in the comments below. In the end, it does come back to storytelling. Don't do fast cut for fast cut's sake. Consider this example. Not only is Edgar Wright showing this character traveling from place to place, He's actually using each shot to illustrate just how far this character has to travel. He shows the character going from taxi, to train, to subway, to taxi, back and forth. 
He shows the phone signal getting weaker and weaker, and he also shows the character falling asleep, waking up. So make your shots count and mean something. Basically, when you do a fast cut sequence like this, you're compressing time. And when you do that, on the surface, you're adding urgency, you're adding energy, and you're adding a lot of fun to just about anything. And underneath it all, you're actually engaging the audience to try to figure out what each shot means and how they connect together. So when used appropriately, this can add a lot of excitement to your video. So use it wisely. If you're interested in learning more about Edgar Wright and his filmmaking, there's a few video essays that I highly recommend that you should check out for how he does visual comedy, for how he uses transition, all great stuff. 